Hello everybody, I am Junaid, PhD student in Geomatics based in Gulf Coast Research and Education Center, Vimauma, University of Florida. I will be talking on establishment of bare root strawberry transplants using intermittent sprinkler irrigation conserves water without yield loss. We know in Florida is facing significant challenge in meeting future water demands. Agriculture uh, consumes 40% of Florida's total water use, uh, which is projected to increase by 6% by 2035. The, in Florida, strawberry uh, is grown using bare root transplants. Sorry, strawberry bare root transplants are grown by the gro uh, Florida strawberry growers, which have desiccated roots. As you can see here in this picture, the roots are desiccated which are non-functional so when they are planted in these planting holes they need uh, overhead strawberry irrigation for the first 10 to 12 days you can see these sprinklers so this overhead sprinkler irrigation water is sprinkled on top of the plants to keep them cool uh, till their roots get established so once the roots are established which usually which usually takes 10 to 12 days then this overhead sprinkler irrigation is stopped and the drip irrigation uh, which is under these plastic molds is started but this uh, 10 to 12 day use of overhead sprinkler irrigation continuously during the daylight hours uh, takes 40 to 50 percent of the total season long water use which is a huge amount of water almost 50 percent of the water is just consumed in the first 10 to 12 days so in this experiment we used intermittent irrigation which uh, in which we apply a series of on off pulses uh, to you know conserve the water so growers usually use control or continuous which we have used in our experiment which is overhead sprinklers are set on for the entire day and then we use 10 minutes on and 10 minutes off uh, irrigation regime 10 minutes on and 15 minutes off irrigation regime 10 minutes on and 20 minutes off irrigation regime so if these work out uh, these uh, on off pulses these irrigation regimes work out without any effect on the yield and fruit quality we can save 50 to 67 percent of the water that's using in the first 10 to 12 days so our goal is to reduce irrigation water use for the establishment of strawberry transplants by implementing these irrigation intermittent irrigation specific objectives includes quantifying the water saving examine the impact and on the yield and the growth and quality of the fruits and find the best intermittent irrigation scheme and then demonstrate the feasibility of this irrigation method to the growers and agriculture research community our study area is Gulf Coast Research and Education Center in BAM, which is one of the Uni University of Florida's IFAS research facilities. The experiment design was randomized complete block design, where we had the main plot was irrigation and the subplot were cultivars. So we had four irrigation regimes. One was control, which as, as we said, as we said, which is the control is continuous which is used by the growers all over florida so the white color blocks represent control the green colored blocks represent 10 minutes on 10 minutes off yellow color blocks represent 10 minutes on 15 minutes off and the orange color blocks represent 10 minutes on on and 20 minutes off so the three cultivars which we used were Florida 127, also commonly called as Sensation, Florida Brilliance, and Florida Medallion. So the on-off pulses were controlled using these mist timers for all the three irrigation regimes. And the water was applied from 8 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening for the first 12 days after transplanting. The data collection included uh, temperature data collection. So since we are imposing the heat stress by controlling the off cycle duration, you know, by increasing the off cycle duration from 10 minutes off, 15 minutes off, and 20 minutes off, 
So we collected the data using thermal camera and infrared thermometer uh, for the first 12 days. Every third day, six times a day at a two hourly interval. So when we go on the field, we collect data at the beginning of the off cycle. That means when the the sprinklers are just off and at the end of the off cycle that means by the 19th minute for 20 minutes off program and by the 14th minute 15 for 15 minutes off program and by the ninth minute for 10 minutes off program so we have the data of the beginning of the off cycle duration and end of the off cycle duration to see how much temperature rise happens as the off cycle duration is increasing then we have yield measurements then you, we have yield measurements so where we collect the yield data uh, twice every uh, every week two times which is the standard practice and canopy projected area we monitor the canopy growth of the plants uh, which was collected every month from october november december and so on and results looking at the yield uh, we have the first one here is Florida sensation. The second set of bars uh, represents the Florida brilliance. The third set of the bars represent the Florida medallion. So this is the mark table yield and for the month of December, January, February and total. If we look at the total, we see for sensation there is no difference means there is no negative effect on the yield by using these off cycle irrigation regimes same goes with the florida medallion we see slight dips in you know 10 minutes off 20 minutes off but overall the uh, there is no negative effect significant negative effect in the yield however in case of brilliance we see as the off cycle duration is increasing the yield is increasing which is you know almost case throughout the growing season and the, the off cycle irrigation regimes are better than the control and in total also here we can see as the off cycle duration is increasing we see an enhancement in the yield so brilliance had a 10 to 13 percent of the irrigation increase no, sorry brilliance had the 10 to 13 percent yield increase with the off cycle duration and the other two did not have any increases but there was no negative effect on the yield significant negative effect on the yield same goes with the canopy with the increasing off cycle duration we see increase in the canopy projected area for both brilliance and sensation however for brilliance it was throughout the uh, uh, growing season and in case of sensation it was for the first three months you know for the first three instances as you can see in the graph for medallion there was no 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 effect so the canopy growth was same with control and off, off cycle irrigation regimes now looking at the temperature if you see the picture in the here well, we see the cooler the blue area represents the cooler area on the plastic mulch as we can see this is control the uh, irrigation program this is 20 minutes off and these two represent 20 minutes off this is at the beginning of off cycle and this is by the end of the off cycle we can see at the beginning of the off cycle there is still some cooler area but by the end of the off cycle the cooler area reduced to minimum which shall if we look at the graph and this is translated into the graph also with the increasing off cycle duration we see increase in temperature for both plastic mulch and for leaf uh, and as the day progresses midday has the highest temperature as expected and one thing to notice is in the midday the difference between the irrigation regimes the temperature difference between the irrigation regimes between the off cycle duration is prominent as we can see both in in all of the four cases now looking at the leaf senescence across irrigation regimes so we had collected the you know rgb images as we collected the thermal images also so at the two days after planning and 12 days after planning you can see for control there is no you know no no prominent leaf senescence happening a little bit in 10 minutes on 10 minutes off you know the in 10 minutes on 15 minutes off you can see the bronzing of the entire leaf but if you see the 10 minutes on 20 minutes off here 
you know, the leaves have entirely senesced. So we see here that as the temperature is increasing, sorry, as the irrigation, as the off duration time is increasing from 10 minutes off to 20 minutes off, the leaf senescence rate is increasing, which is due to the imposed heat stress due to the off cycle duration when there is no water. And then we had a chance to uh, survey the growers during the Ag Tech meeting where we presented this data and out of the 20 growers, 13 growers were willing to implement this irrigation method. However, uh, the concerns among the growers were, you know, transplant wilting and yield loss was one of the major concerns. But as we have seen, this is a two-year data which we have presented in this uh, in this uh, talk uh, during the growing season of 2021-22 and growing season of 2020, 21, 22, and 22-23. So the two-year data we have collected doesn't show us, uh, you know, any negative effects on the yield. However, it shows an increasingly uh, positive effects in yield in one of the varieties. So the summary is. Um, Florida medallion and Florida 1 to 7 showed minimal differences in canopy, in canopy projected area, whereas Florida brilliant showed a trend to increase in canopy projected area in response to the intermittent irrigation. And mark table yield, Florida brilliance increased yield by up to 13% with the increasing of cycle duration, whereas the sensation and medallion were unaffected by the intermittent irrigation. So, conclusion is like the, the the reason for the increase in yield in brilliance is as we have seen in among in the pictures of leaf senescence as the off cycle duration is increasing we impose the heat stress that causes the leaf senescence rate to increase which causes the accelerated nutrients of uh, the from the initial leaves which are senescing as the leaves senesce they send the new leftover nutrients to the crown to support the new growth during the establishment so in case of florida brilliance that uh, in, that the leaf senescence rate uh, accelerates the translocation of nutrients which ultimately perhaps you know replicates in the yield by the end of the season and also in the canopy growth so using intermittent irrigation we can save up to 66 percent of the sprinkler irrigation water use uh, during the establishment of strawberry plants providing an opportunity to conserve the groundwater resources and the future work will include modeling and simulating the plastic mulch temperature under diverse irrigation regimes and vary, varying weather scenarios you know looking at the temperature or air temperature looking at the relative humidity looking at the albedo and all of the weather scenarios to pinpoint to identify the best irrigation regime based on the given weather conditions we also have collected the thermal images using uav um, drones so the images that we showed in the data that we showed for temperature was handheld thermal images but for a large scale farm we need and uh, it's more convenient and feasible to use the uav based thermal images so that remains to be you know done to see the um, how much temperature difference is between the uav based you know thermal camera and the ground based thermal camera uh, so that you know to see whether we can use a whether the uav based thermal images are reliable and what methodology can be adopted to make them reliable and this research could not have been possible uh, by the uh, without the support of horticulture team in Gulf Coast Center at Baum and the geomatics team in from Plant City. So that is all from my side. Thank you.